90210. She played Donna Martin on that show. You, you, everybody watched 90210. Oh, man. yeah, absolutely. Everybody watched 90210, and she's done a lot of stuff since then. Tori, Tori, Spelling. Was, Tori was one of my favorites, i got to tell you. Of course. Well, oh, she was. Thank you. You, were, absolutely. You, you, were the hot, you were the hottest one, Tori. I mean, thank you. you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? How are things, Tori? I'm glad you're with us. I know you had uh, you were a little ill yesterday. And... I was, yeah. Oh. I got to New York to do press, and I just totally got stomach flu or oh. food poisoning, something. Yeah, but I'm feeling better. Thank oh, you. that's good. Yeah, I'm, I'm well glad to hear it. We get that. I, I mean, I get that from time to time just by listening to this show. So <laughs> <laughs> it happens. You know, you know uh, it happens. So you've got to, you've really after nine hundred two one zero, you've done a lot of other things, and, and you've really been writing a lot of books lately too. I have. This is my third book. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Well, now this one's called what? Uncharted territory. And, and basically, this is kind of a collection of some some stories, some Hollywood kind of stories, right? Um, this and that. I mean, anyone who's read my first two books, they love the kind of self-deprecating humor I tell in my stories. And it's, you know, in regards to, yeah, there's Hollywood stuff, but there's family and relationship stuff and just bizarre things. Nice. This one kind of delves a little bit deeper into kind of my personal journey that's gone on in the past year. Sure. Because uh, well, when you've when you've been, I mean, you were born into it. I mean, you, when your father yeah. is Aaron Spelling, you're, you're under a microscope from the minute you're born, right? Pretty much. It was yeah. a little bit different. It's so funny, the the tabloids and the media and paparazzi, it has changed. You know, it's very different than the way it used to be, even when I was growing up. Right. For the worse? It's so much worse now. Yeah, yeah. It's, I mean, a, it's, it's a whole different playing field. It's like no one ever followed you to your house. That's you know, sick, there'd be huh? like one photographer at an event. They weren't outside restaurants or shopping areas. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Markets. Well, that's yeah. awful. Yeah, one of the one of the guests on this show um, in the past has been Gary uh, Gary Coleman, and uh, we used to we used to actually crank call him, and we had uh, Todd Bridges was involved with it a little bit too. And what has happened to Gary right now is just uh, you know, and, and it just it's a shock that anybody's going to take a picture of a celebrity in, in that kind of situation. I mean, it, it goes to tell it goes to say that. It's gone out of hand, don't you think? This paparazzi stuff. I feel like nothing is off limits, and yeah. there's no, there's a respect level that's missing has for it, just humans. Yeah, you know. Has it gotten worse because of places like TMZ? I mean, do you have any respect for places like TMZ, or do you, do you think they kind of perpetuate uh, all this kind of stuff? I mean, my thing is, I try to remain neutral and think, you know, everyone has a job to do, but I just wish there was a happy medium, and you know, it's not like we're animals or prey, you know, that yeah. you could just like feed off of right. um, if human beings with families and children and I just wish there was some certain line that was drawn so we could have somewhat normalized and you know people I love this one paparazzi always say well you signed up for this <laughs> you decided to be an actor a yeah. celebrity I'm like well no I signed up to be an actor I signed right. up to do a TV show I didn't sign up to be you know stalked you know during eight, an eight hour day like you know everywhere I drive and and you running red lights and endangering everyone around you. I didn't sign up for that. Yeah, that's it's just ridiculous to the level that they take it. Uh, nobody should have to deal with that. Agreed. Well, like in, in your case too, Tori. I mean, you can't. You, you get uh, you get the swine flu, right? And I did. And, and you get you, you're allowed to. You're a human being. You're allowed to get sick, right? And so the paparazzi, they're not going to say that Tori Spelling gets sick. Heck no. Tori Spelling has an eating disorder. Tori Spelling has this. Too, she's too yeah. thin, blah, 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 blah. Well, they aren't you allowed make... to be sick? If I get if I get sick and lost some weight, uh, nobody would think twice about it. But because it's you, they want to put you under a microscope for it. It's really irresponsible media reporting. Yeah. It's unfortunate. Just because, I don't know if they realize or if they even care, but, you know, there's millions of young women out there that are reading these papers and they don't always know what they're writing is false you know they're not as savvy as people in hollywood that say oh you know it's not true no one believes it well people do believe it sure. and i think it's irresponsible if you don't have facts to you know throw throw terms across like anorexia eating disorder out so lightly if you don't know what's going on mm. hey you know something much cooler to talk about i gotta tell you tori my wife is a huge fan Thank of you. your reality yeah. show she <laughs> loves it well, thank her. Uh, uh, the Tori and Dean. Do you watch it with her? Uh, when I get a chance. I'm usually working. Unfortunately, I, I do not a lot a of work. It's not a boy show. It's okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Some boys I catch get it. their men to sit and watch through it. I understand. I catch it when I can, <laughs> when, I, when I'm passing through. So right. I, I'm going to ask you, though, with, with, with what you're saying about the celebrities, uh, celebrity uh, paparazzi and things like that, you go ahead and you do a reality show that is really, really intense and really uh, on really putting you on a microscope. There's like uh, all kinds of personal things in your show. It seems really real from what I've seen. You know, it seems like there's not a lot of 
putting on kind of stuff that's going no, on. No, it's beyond real. Yeah. 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 And that's, that's what we agreed to when we signed up for it. You know, why do it if you're going to have a produced show? Mm-hmm. I mean, one of the reasons to do it is to kind of combat the false stuff out there, you know, all the false perceptions and rumors. So if you're going to go on and put, another, and put an act on, then you're not really doing yourself justice, you know. So we decided, you know, bad or good, we're going to go for it and show them all of us, and, and if they don't like it, they don't like it. But right. the fans have been amazing. Yeah, so basically, I mean, that is the ultimate, hey, I've got nothing to hide. Here I am. Here's me. You know, right. It's everything, the good and the bad. We see and a lot of this. Been, it's been so great because, you know, you realize through this that people do believe what's written out there, and then all of a sudden we have a reality show where we tell them, you know, our side of it and our truth, and people are like, wow, you guys are cool. Yeah, you see a lot of the same everyday kind of stuff that we all deal with, that we right. all go through, and that... That yeah, that makes you more real to the people human, who are, I guess. <laughs> yeah, it humanizes you, you know, yeah. to the people who are drinking this paparazzi Kool Aid, right, you know. Right, right. There you go. And, and I think you've you've obviously grown up around it your whole life anyway, so I imagine you have a pretty tough skin when it comes to this kind of stuff. But has there anything? Has there ever been anything written uh, that just really just upset you to the point where you're like you had to do something about it, or you really totally up, were upset over something? Oh gosh, there's been several things. Um, you know, obviously it hurts when they attack my marriage. Right. Um, and the body image thing is horrible. I'm so, I just feel blessed that my daughter is not old enough to even read that stuff. Right. Yeah. And I fear for the day that she can read it and they keep doing that. Um, things um, about plastic surgery, that one is like a big one that has like carried his baggage for years. Right. Well, they, just, they just did this about uh, Sarah Palin uh, a week or so ago. What did they say about her? Well, they said that she got a, a breast job, and turned out that she didn't. Right. You know, but it was all over the place about it. Yeah, you know? the easiest thing for me, I think, in, in my first book, I just kind of laid it out there and told them, here's what I've had done, um, so leave me alone. Basically, you know, I haven't, you know, because they, you know, they'll say you had ribs removed, you've had chin implants, you know. Basically, a new face put on. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's just crazy. Yeah, there's nobody. Yeah. It's a, it's amazing that people buy that crap. Yeah, you know, and and keep these people in business. Well, I, I mean, we all read it. Yeah. So uh, with the new book, to look at it in the in the line at the market. Well, do, I mean, do you do you find yourself wanting to read these things just to? I mean, do you brush it off, or do you find yourself searching out the stories to say, okay, what are people talking about me today? No, I honestly, I'd rather know what they're saying than not saying because. If I don't read it, all of a sudden then I'm bombarded by, you know, some TMZ guy saying, hey, what do you say about this story? And I'm like, what? You Blind got no idea. So, yeah. Yeah. So yeah. I'd rather know exactly what they're saying. That really sucks to have to spend some of your time dealing with that uh, no matter what. Exactly. Well, yeah. I, like to, I like to read about the fashion pieces. Yeah. See what people are wearing. Well, we saw we see <laughs> we saw a lot of nice stuff written about you as well, yeah. and that's <laughs> the only stuff. Yeah. That's, that's the only stuff that we uh, are into. Yeah. Thank you. We wanted to. I know we're running short on time with you, but we wanted to quickly get in a uh, Tory Spelling Bee. Are you up for it? Um, I'll try. I'm a little nervous. Uh, okay. okay. No. 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 We'll Here go, we go easy on you, dear. Really quick. Okay. We'll go really quick. Uh, first word is going to be. Uh, go for it, James. Rodeo. <laughs> Rodeo. R-O-D-E-O. Rodeo. Oh, sorry, honey. That's rodeo. That's rodeo. Uh, <laughs> That's how they spell rodeo, too. <laughs> All right. Now, Park, with you. Parker's got one My for you. My favorite word, kumquat. Kumquat. K-U... Oh, dear. K-U-M... Q-U-A-T... I, that's close enough. That works close for enough me. for us. Hey, hey. We, so we spell spelling. check all the time anyway. Yeah, right. So uh, what is it? How do you spell it? I don't know. I was just. Oh, he around. doesn't even yeah, know. Yeah, Come I on. Think, I think you're right, Tori. I'm going with that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we'll give you a consolation prize. I promise. They'll be in the mail for you. Yeah. Hey, Tori Spelling. Thank you so much for being on the show. You're we awesome, really appreciate Tori. it. Oh, thank you guys. And uh, uh, the new book again is called Uncharted Territory. And they can get it at any fine bookstore anywhere. I imagine. Any bookstore is out. All right. Great. Thanks a lot, Tori. We appreciate it. Bye bye. Bye.